All right, uh, we're gonna do more Diablo 4 because uh, I want to play it, and it's the launch weekend, so yeah. If you are watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking, and uh, hope you are enjoying this. Let me know if you are, because I'm always conscious about the fact that it's not to say this game is bad or the genre. It's more just some people are into it, some people aren't. So. If you do enjoy the playthroughs, let me know. And I'll be sure to do more. Alright, uh, what am I doing? Let's go... Okay, the pilgrimage thing. Oh no, we got... Oh uh, yeah, there's a few things we need to do. It's a, it's a bit later here than usual. Um, I went and saw the new Spider-Verse movie. So. It is, it is late. Hail. There's a shrine west of here. There's a relic. I'm told it takes on your sin. Weighs you down. Soul beats the head. I hope you don't have many regrets. Sorry, I'm tabbing out. Alright. I need more fear. So much to do, man. Like, I'm belly through the first content. I think it might be set in stone, like, how much time we have to finish it. Anyway. You don't have enough fury. Works for me. Let me go back to town for a minute. I'm gonna go to the occultist real quickly. I got some new ones because I was playing multiplayer. I'm just looking at if I have anything. Yeah, 
Killing an enemy with a core skill refunds 10% of its cost. That's all we want. Um, I guess we can make a ring out of it. Works for me. Good for the hammers. Best armor in the peaks. Yeah, look at some gem stuff as well. I guess I need one more sapphire. Uh, what else have we got? Rings. Ultimate damage skill. Overpower damage. Yeah, I mean, for now. A little bit of extra tankiness, why not? Oh. Probably not a bad idea to go through here. Alright, let's go. Okay, this cost refund thing. Right. This, this, oh, the extra health effects. Really surprised they included extra health again. Anyway, hey, Gabby, I mean, what's up? Did I have a good Saturday? Yeah, I just. Uh, hung out with my brothers and went to see the new 
Spider-Man movie because one of them wanted to, so it's a good time to catch up. But yeah, I mean, it was done out in the suburbs, so bit tired. Chill now. I wish that this had an overlay version of the map. Oh, there's a stronghold here. I know which one this is. I don't know if I'm capable. This one was a struggle. Okay, good. I'm glad I ignored the map. The map was wrong. <laughs> Alright. Well, the marker I put was wrong. That's what I meant. Playing it with this with the controller later. It feels like that would be an ultimate comfort comfort level. It's not like I need targeting too much here. I'm not casting, I'm just kind of whacking shit with a massive stick. And screaming. Not good. Holy shit. I mean, good. I'm, I'm happy because the character is definitely tanky. Oh, it's, I see what's going on. It's doing that impale attack. Still. Are they all in the same spot? Ooh, this is bad. Oh, get happened! <laughs> that was like from almost half health. That was satisfying.
Where does it? All oh, right, that's the actual um. Rank ten. It's increasing. Scrappy sounds of attacking the monsters is that weird. Oh no, like, that's one of the best compliments I can give this game is just like, or at least this class. There's just something satisfying about the sounds the barbarian makes in this game and the sounds of the meaty attacks. They've, they've got it right. As simplistic as this build is, it is just, it is just satisfying. It's just swing, 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 scream, swing, massive swing. There's, there's something about it. They've got the, the archetype down. The fact that like a, a two-hander build is this much fun, I mean, good job, because I don't think I've ever used two-handers in games like this. As I bleed out my last among the corrupted tombs of those who might have been my brothers, I have hunted these wretched creatures for as long as I've been able to wield a knife against them. They feed on blood and grow strong in numbers. I have chased them into this nest and been caught in a trap. Their leader can raise the dead. And I feel for all of you. The fact that it's refunding now. Oh. If you have the skill, hunt them down. Do not let my death be for naught. The, uh, because I was playing the Sorceress as well. That felt really good too. Because I was running multiple elements and that felt right instead of having to stick to one. for a game of this genre. I mean, we'll see how it goes when general availability is, like, m on Monday, right? But, I mean, a large amount of people have pre-ordered this and got to do this early access thing. But it's been pretty smooth. So far. To that credit. Whilst there have been complaints where it's like, oh no, the queue times went up to, like, four minutes. It's like, four minutes is not that bad. For a launch of a game, honestly, it seems way worse. And I haven't had anything drop out. I've glitched the game. Definitely glitched the game already. Because of course I have, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't streaming when it happened, but like, I'll t it basically... Um, character could not do anything. No, could not cast skills, could not do a thing. Just use a potion. Had to exit the game. Wasn't anything funny, but you know, I was like, yep. 
Oh, this, that tracks. Trying to do so. Not so bad, just take out these things. Okay, it is doing a bit of damage, but that should be okay. Stun, go, go, go. Hey! <laughs> Don't want to click it. I'm out of fury. Oh my god, let me go. I'm not ready. Leaving. This is why I worry about... <sighs> this stronghold. I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to do it.
Eh, as well. It's quick to do these. to go hang on I just noticed my chest pace is a little bit out of date just a little bit Keep forgetting this is how it works now. Inverse. Okay, there we go. Father Bless, what do you need? In the park nicely. Come back if you need work. to kind of get back to what I was doing. Oh, one more point until I get that. Uh... Legending weapons use 10% chance to stun. Yeah, that's what we want. Increasing that. I mean, it's already got a pretty decent chance. What is that? That is the Darkened Boy. Get some going there. What is the final ability I'm gonna get? Direct damage with 200 bludgeoning. Increased damage. Well, all three damage. That's not gonna happen. Of 
core skills deal a hundred, but cost. Okay, so it's like if I want hammer to really like hit like a truck. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's between. I think it's between. Probably between these two, Berserk. Wait, do I have Berserk? Yeah, right of the Berserk, that's Berserking. It's between those two. Where is this big ol? There's a shrine west of here, bears a relic. I'm told it takes on your sin, weighs you down, body and soul, beats the hell out of you. It'll cleanse you, prepare you to stand before the Father. I hope you don't have many regrets, friend. This kind of thing is a lot deadlier for some than others. Watch out, all right? I'll find you at the end. Oh, it's that spot that I went by. Oh, fine. Lift your sins, breathe deep the cold air. The path to redemption lies before you, if you have the faith to walk it. Spooky. I think I have to fight these things, just go. Okay, 
now I do. Really? Oh, the journal. Read the tablet. Where's the tablet? There. A body. The body was covering it. Let the ice into your bones. Welcome your pain, for the agony of the flesh is the first cleansing of the soul. Make your faith stronger than any hurt. I'm out of fury. There we go. See the tablet there. Around at the mountains towering over you. Feel how small you are. Embrace humility. Accept your place in worship to the Father. For he has shown us the way. I haven't seen one of those timed events yet. Get stunned! being one shot because they're faithless. <laughs> just, I feel like the one shot shouldn't have happened. There's redemption. So I like playing cards. Doesn't make me a sinner. But that bribe. Good soldiers died on account of what I did. Is that the kind of man I am? The kind I'll always be. I just Damn it, I'm praying. Why isn't this working? 
Huh, you made it. That makes one of us, at least. You heard from Prava? I will, soon. But enough about that. You're about to meet Father Inarius himself. Not everyone comes back, you know. You'd better. I, I owe you a stiff drink. I mean, I doubt that would be a statue here. It'd be really strange. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> You're optional. Forgive this intrusion, but... Tell me what you need. I must traverse the Black Lake, and that cannot be done without your blessing. If I've learned anything during my time here, it is that what we're looking for, and what we need, are rarely the same thing. I once thought I could find an end to this war. But there has been no resolution, only more pain. Everything I've done has pulled me further from home, from the place I need to be. This world we made was born from the impossible, and yet, like its creators, it rots from the inside. I... I don't... Lilith has entered the ancient city. With your blessing, I can pursue her. Your kind are weak. Oh, okay. This world has been wasted on the crusades of the unworthy. I can stop her. Hmm. This audience is concluded. Did our best. Back to Call of Law, hang on. Oh shit, there's no... There's no waypoint nearby.
Okay. I mean, what's the nearest? Yeah, man, I don't have anything nearby. Oh, neat. Alright. I guess... I mean, I do want to continue the main quest. There's still stuff to do, but... I feel like I should try and get to Act 2. I'm level 30. <laughs> Maybe I'm taking it too slow with the main story. Oh, little statue. Nice. There's also that. I mean, there's supposed to be a lot of those statues everywhere. Remember if I have a key. It's locked. I don't. I could go get one, but I'm being lazy. I'm fine. the hammer just wipe out a bunch of them in one hit. It's so satisfying. Ooh, that's a sorceress aspect. I don't want to do that. Well, because I, I have a sorceress. That is a skill that would be useful for what I'm doing.
section just rang out. Vulnerability state is brutal. That's not going to do anything for me. Stab attack. Shit. Well. I need to pay closer attention to the animations, that's what I need to do. So brutal. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. For fuck's sake. three bloodstones. <laughs> Multiple of them. Okay, oh. Hammer time!
Okay. But I found the central one. Is bloodstone. <laughs> I haven't seen a single one yet. Anytime I see a large chunk of health disappear, it's, it's that thing. It's one of those rescue us event things, but just with this class it just doesn't work. <laughs> I try to defend them, but they just get swarmed and they all die. Oh shit. Ooh, that was close. I think I'll just go Berserker Increase. Seems the most logical one for what I'm doing. Because this one... I'm not really swapping weapons. This one... Stronger Hammer, but unless I have a good way to regen... I'll do the boring one. Just duration <laughs> increase. But if I find a way to resource generate quickly, then I'll get the other one.
one more. I mean, I think it's that way, but it could very well just all be on one side. Let's see. feel about this bloodstone thing. It's like a triple fetch quest. Okay, um, I need to... Well, you're not after this, but... I need to upgrade. I need to extract the aspect and move it on to the next one, because that is a big weapon difference. at that time, motherfucker. Damn it. I had my dash on cooldown. Did I get the chest? I don't think I got the chest. Hang on. Did it even spawn on?
Okay, that's the one. Okay, I thought I had something to extract. I don't, so let's just go straight to the occultist. Hey, so how's it going? Huh. Uh, yeah, alright. Guess I should go here and exit dungeon. That's where I was headed. There's no waypoint closer at the moment. Yay, double load screen. This is the last thing to do before moving on. We'll see. Oh, I mean, that's yeah, the side quest, but like aside from that. An outsider. I could use your help. A dying knight mistook me for his confessor. He spoke of sacrilegious things. He said his party of knights found a secret to life eternal. A red chalice. Said the bishop leading them ordered them to drink of it. Deep. He confessed they shelter now in a place he called the Sanguine Chapel. The chalice must be retrieved and I okay. must leave. Find me at the Bear Tribe camp when you have it. Oh. I just, I just did that. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. Are those who bask in the light. Let our faith be our armor against the encroaching darkness. Ah, you've returned. Come, let us speak inside. Out of the cold. It's gonna reset the dungeon and we're gonna have to do it again. I think. Pretty sure. We'll see. <laughs> I can't believe I had to do it again. Oh dear. That's fine. I think. Is she coming? No. Okay. That's what she meant by inside. Yet you stand before me unscathed. I know his ways. That is approval enough for me. In the name of the light, I bless you. May the light flow through you and keep you from corruption and sin. Our victory 
is prophesied in the heavens. Okay, that's it. Act one crossing over. Um, I guess let's go here first. Just wanted to see if there was anything hidden here. Uh It's kind of a pain because there's no closer waypoint at the moment. I should do that stronghold. <laughs> I just don't want to do it because it's annoying. The only thing I haven't really taken advantage of is just the blacksmith, because I don't know. I feel like there's... At the rate at which gear drops, it just doesn't feel as useful. But maybe I should give it a try. Before I do that stronghold. Just running though. <laughs> Too much junk in the middle. Leave me alone! Is that really going to make me do this again? We'll see. Into the Sanguine Chapel. Basically the bloodstone thing again. <laughs> this is what I feared. It's just the mechanical box. It's a box instead of a, a stone, you see, so that makes it different. Oh, 
this is only two of them this time. doing that. One of these dudes is like applying that effect on me and wrecking my shit. circles. a box on my back instead of a stone. Now see, before it was a circle, now it's a square. And next time it'll be a pyramid. the explosion this time. The 
trying to take care of these things for ages that they just... Ugh. Get out of here. People who don't know the concept of short legs can't move fast, and every single cell of your body hurts. Oof. Yeah, that's uh, that's not fun. I mean, how many hours would that have been? That like, I guess it depends on the pace, but that's that's more than a couple hours. Meanwhile, I was up late playing this and then slept. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, no, well. I would not be able to survive five hours. Zelda's looking different. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I still have to, I still have to hunt stuff down like Koroks. That's, that's not a joke. There are these shrines all over the place and it's, I just have to be on the lookout for them. It's this game's version of Koroks, so. But hello Messiah, how's it going? I can't escape the Korok hunting. I'm kicking back. I didn't feel like Zelda tonight. I just... I went and saw the new Spider-Verse movie and then got back. I felt like just playing this because this has turned your brain off, at least for me. And also this just came out and I do want to play it, so... It's just... The sounds of screaming and a hammer just smacking the crap out of itself. That was a new Spider-Man. I mean, it was alright. Like, okay, the animation of it is really good. If you're into animation and seeing cool styles of animation, it's a great movie. But I'll stand by this, and my brother disagrees, and that's fine. I think that, because they've split it up, right? So the, it's, it's a decontinued movie. But they, they could they could have squeezed it in. They could have made the plot something that was one movie realistic. In the year of the light, 1318, 
Yeah, I mean, if they, it's a sequel of um, the Spider-Verse movie, which was like a few years ago. It's worth a watch. Um, Ooh. Yes, please. An animated Spider-Man game will be good. I mean, the closest we got is the Insomniac games. They're pretty good. There's a new one coming out this year, which I'll probably check out. Because I did enjoy the others. Yeah, I like I liked the movie. It's just... I wasn't aware that it was going to be a to-be-continued type scenario. At the end of it, I was like, oh... Oh, I see. They're gonna- they're gonna make a second movie out of this. Okay. They could've probably condensed the plot, but... <laughs> Marketing. But no, it was enjoyable. The animation was really cool. Plot twist. I mean, the thing is, like, going into that movie, I kind of knew what they were going to get at. It was a little predictable, but it was fine. I think the other thing is, I'm a little bit cynical when it comes to superhero movies currently, because I think there's, uh... There's a bit of, uh, superhero movie burnout for me right now. Like, everything's gone the route of just, oh no, we're making a cinematic universe out of everything. And the multiverse thing is just this idea that's just being used a little too much right now. My store? Oh yeah. See, this shit happens to me and I don't even think about it. <laughs> it's fine. It's a feature. My character, my barbarian can phase through walls. Ethereal form. Um, what am I getting? Lucky hit, what is this? I'm not even sure if Grant's ever, let's just see. As a power. Wait, so that doesn't count as... Okay, fuck me. I'm leveling the wrong thing. Well... The gem is wrong, I can fix that. I'm still getting used to some of these new keywords, like they got stuff like overpower, and I'm not sure what exactly... What exactly triggers it. Um, but yeah, my barbarian's gonna be something that just screams and sma smacks things with a massive stick. But what? It's, it doesn't explain it. It doesn't explain it. Okay, they're highlighted, right? So what a. I want to find out what ability is actually overpower. This is terrible. <laughs> Let's see why. It should, like, make it more obvious. Right now, I'm not sure which ones it's referring to. Okay, hold on. D4 Barbarian Overpower Skills. Can't believe I'm looking this out. Oh, okay. A 
Apparently Hammer are the Ancients overpowers. Brute Force. Alright, well, this, according to this, one of my, one of the skills I'm using it has it, so. <laughs> yeah. This kills me because, this, you know, my job involves UI design. And so this is like, it's killing me on two levels. I, w I just want to find out if I'm wasting a point or not. Looks like I'm going to have to study first. Uh, not really. Not too much. This is just because I want to be optimal, but you don't have to. It's not like Path of Exile. Path of Exile, you want to talk about a game that you have to study? There's one. I mean, this is just press one, press two, left click, left click, right click. Stuff explodes. And then just collect the off and try to get stronger. I take it this genre isn't your thing, this uh... <laughs> This is fun in, in a multiplayer sense, because you do... You play with people and then you share gear. And... I mean, I enjoy it. Oh my god. Oh no. Too many, too many, too many. Can't tell, never played the game. Fair enough. I mean, this is the newest entry. The other ones are a bit different. But it does tell a good story, and the cutscenes in this are pretty good so far. I just like it. This is one of these games that I can turn my brain off to. The entire looks very gory. I know, it is very, very gory. Especially this one, because the complaint of the previous entry was that they made it too cartoony and they... It just looked like... People said it looked like a mobile game, which is a fair comment, but... So for this one, they, they just went, like, extra. Oh no, we gotta make this look very grimy and dark and... Just back into like a gothic horror thing. Oh shit. No. Ah! I need more time. I think what appeals to me about this game is just you start off with something weak and then you build it up and make it something strong over time. And you're constantly finding new stuff to make yourself stronger. And you can pick it up and just put it down whenever you want. This isn't like World of Warcraft or something, where you have to commit to like four hour play sessions. Otherwise you don't get anything done. Okay, boss time. I mean, with this, yeah, you just kind of pick a skill and see if you like the skill and then see what else works with that skill. A 
That's the thing I realized that I just hate shopping malls. Because <laughs> we went to one of the larger ones. The one that we went to is the largest in the southern hemisphere. But it's. It's, uh. Almost like a city practically, but there were just so much people there. And me and my brother the whole time we were just saying, what are people doing here? Why? This is this is a shopping center. Stop it. Like, why are there so much people hanging out here? There's red bubble health. Okay, red bubble's health. Right bubble is resource. So like there's a skill that'll generate fury for this character, which is the left click. It'll fill the bubble, and then right click is like you spend it. Simplest explanation. But this class, the Barbarian, so... See how the red is kind of cut in half? So red is like my actual health, but then as I'm attacking shit and building fury, it... Because, you know, a barbarian with how it is, it's meant to be like this unrelenting thing. As I keep hitting shit, it gives me like this temporary health thing. So it just makes sure that I stay alive as long as I keep attacking. And then screaming kind of increases that ability a bit. So, you know, you get stuff to attack you, but then it reduces the damage you take. And then, yeah, that's fun. I like it. Every class has its own way of uh, playing, I guess. So the Barbarian's all about just generating fury and then spending it. Um, I guess we're done here. Guess I'm going back there. There's no waypoint that's close. No. Alright, that's fine. But I mean, this world looks pretty good for what it is. And yeah, when you're playing in a party, you get benefits as well, so... You can have skills that work with one another. On top of like, yeah, just sharing gear and all that stuff, you get bonus experience. like the idea of this just I only have one screen but my idea is I'm ev every one of my other abilities is gonna be a screen and it's just gonna be smack smack hammer smack smack hammer and then just screams that's it and there's nothing wrong with that it's, it's completely viable <laughs> I'll show the gear aspect of it, because it's like, okay, where's the part that you actually care about the character? I eh, can't be bothered. I'm just walking past these. That's going to take a while. No, it's fine, it's fine. Just... 
Oh shit, there's a statue there. Okay, hold on. I need that. The Korok. Korok right there. <laughs> I don't have that. Ah! <laughs> shit. That bear fucked me. Ow, man. Yeah, they're thanky. Okay. That was my bad. I wasn't planning on stopping, but then I saw the statue. I mean, Korra. Wait, what it, where is it? Oh, it's back up that way. Did I walk? Shit. It's back there somewhere. Right, I'm gonna have to go back. I have to find it because that thing's actually valuable. Right. Sorry for asking this twice or more. It'll be the last time. Do I have DKC2 planned? No, I haven't planned anything yet. Just because I knew this weekend I was going to go see the movie and oh, this was coming out. So I haven't really I thought about it more. The church, and with some luck, that will be the end of it. Thank you for all you've done. But please never speak of this again. Be soonish. Let me let me get this game out of my system. <laughs> uh but yeah, I mean you collect gear, it has different rarities, and then you guys just kinda can ignore the numbers, more or less. Being casual. Just look at the green. But also items will have like things that make your abilities better. So this thing, what does it do? It's like, skills deal up to 38% increased damage based on your resource available. So if I'm at full fury and then I cast a hammer, it's going to do more damage than a hammer that's like at half fury. And then this one is just like, oh, my attacks attack 56% quicker, so... That's the addictive part of it, is just finding shit like that, that just makes your character strong or gives you some ability that you didn't have before. I mean, right now, I'm not high level yet, so it's not clear, but so many numbers. You don't have to pay attention to all of them. The chieftain's champion was if you want to be someone that's like a top tier player and super optimized, yeah, pay attention to them. But you can play this pretty casually and just pay attention to the green number. It's pretty approachable. Or if you're playing in a group, just you just ask someone, it's like, hey, what should I be doing? There's also guides that just tell you, okay, this is a fun play style. This is what you need to do to get we that play style. To honor the ancients and guide their wisdom to us. I know it's not for everyone. Me that death is always close at hand. Bears or your own. There's no Diablo 4 on the Switch. No. The Switch is too, uh, too weak from a power perspective. But it is on PlayStation and Xbox as well. Openly feasting on our fallen and there is cross play and cross progression so you, you, you can play with PC players and the progress transfers across as well which is nice I mean they haven't ruled it out but I would assume that's the reason there's no switch version right now it's just it's a difficult game you want an audience with our chieftain earn it slay our enemies hunt the Khazra of the ice clan who stalk this mountain the switch would probably explode well the other diablo games are on there and they they run surprisingly well particularly diablo 3 like they they ran that at 60 frames a second which was pretty damn impressive 
Diablo 2 doesn't run at that because it's like a, a remaster with nicer graphics, so. They could very well get it running. I just think maybe they delayed it because they were having problems. Okay, I need to conquer Malma. That is going to suck. Um, but there's a lot to do. I just, I just like it, that's all. I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to stuff like this. I mean, that's why I enjoy Stardew Valley as well. It's like almost the same thing, but in a different way. It's You start with something and then you build your way up. And then I guess the entertaining thing for me is just thinking how I can do things better. Uh, okay. Alright, these are the side quests I have. Uh, I suppose... I got all... I got all these now. Hang on. I suppose I have to now. I didn't want to. But I guess I have to get this stronghold. This fight's gonna suck. Oh wait, hang on. I'm gonna look for that shrine. It was over here somewhere. I think... I, you know what I think the problem is? I think what the problem is... I don't think it's the fact that they can't get the game running, now that I think about it. I don't think it's the fact that they can't get the game running on the Switch. I think they can. I think the problem is because this game, unlike the other ones, it has... It relies on on play a bit online play a bit more, and I think that's a bigger weakness in the Switch than the graphics. Is just online play on the Switch is is not the best. I would say it's it's horrible, and I think that's more the problem than the graphics. Because the way this works is like as I'm whilst I'm playing on my own. There'll be quests that appear in the world, like I need to help someone or whatever, and then anyone playing and is in the same area will be like placed near me and we can team up if we want to. So I can't imagine the Switch would be able to do something like that. Well, I think that's the problem. Where the f- what was this? This is gonna bother me because it was right there. I just died and I couldn't find it. For me to play Donkey Kong, I need to have... a nice week where I'm not tired. Because I know what's coming. Well, also, I haven't played that game before ever. I know the reputation of it. There's like... A, I got a little salty at, at the first one. And I know that there's some really difficult stages in the second one. I'm definitely not going to attempt playing it and doing it in one sitting. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be a thing. Ooh. Treasure Goblin, come here. Come here. Oh my god. Got him. I was playing this last night with a friend and there was a dungeon we did and we almost killed the dungeon boss the first try and then we did not get anywhere close to beating it again for 40 minutes. It just sucked. 
It was 40 minutes of just getting fucking destroyed. Oh man. But at that point I was tired, I was sleepy, but it was funny. Ow, 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 hang in there. Was there a stream? Nah, uh, we're just playing off stream. Sometimes I'll opt to do that is just hang out with friends and not stream. I did play Zelda yesterday for a bit, though, and a bit of this, so. Speaking of Zelda, I have very good vehicles now. <laughs> I actually have impressive vehicles. One that I'm pr one that I'm really proud of because that's that's effectively now my permanent mode of transport instead of a horse. And then the other one is just I'm using it to get around in the Sky Island, so it's been working pretty well. Can't wait to see them. Yeah, I, I I can do the steering now, but if you watch uh, which vod, not yesterday's, but the day before, that's when all of that came to fruition. Like the one that has a thumbnail of the silver Lionel, I believe that's where it's. I conjured the first one, and then the second one is after that. The second one was by accident, but it worked out pretty well. Can't make a death machine for the life of me, but I now I, I have a transport vehicle. Missed the main story a few days ago. Oh, cool. Eh, I just have the Gerudo area and Lost Woods. We'll see how I feel tomorrow, because I'm, I'm definitely going to be up late playing this. <laughs> it just is. It's just the reality of it. If I'm feeling adventurous, maybe I can do Donkey Kong tomorrow. I do have the new Katamari game that I also want to check out, but that's not a long game by any means. It'll be one or the other, I think. The last scene felt epic. I would hope so. I mean, I, I usually do play what I enjoy the most, and that it, I am thankful for that. That people allow me to do that. But I also do care to some extent. in that it's not just enjoyable for me. This ins I can't believe I found the statue and now I don't know where it is. Because I died. I feel like it was near something like this. It was just glowing and there was a ravine. Because I was running trying to get to the next... the next town, I died. Yeah. Yeah! It's 
feel there's, there's more and more of these dudes turning up as well. I'm trying to remind myself what it looked like. <laughs> I almost feel like going back and looking at the VOD for a minute just to try and figure out where the heck this is. All I know is it was along the bottom of the screen, and there was like a, a ravine looking thing. And it was glowing, I was, and I wanted to interact with it, but the stupid bear smacked me in the face and I died. It's like, it, it kind of looked like this. But it's obviously not here, because otherwise I would have seen it by now. No? If you should miss DKC2, you'll send black voodoo magic. <laughs> well, I guess that's the thing. I don't really have any, any way of announcing what I plan to do. Other than, well, I'll write something in the stream notification. But that's not really a heads up, is it? It's kind of just, hey, I'm doing it now. Drop whatever it is you're doing and just come, come watch. It's not great. The only avenues, really, I have are just Twitter and Discord. I've just been really lazy with Twitter. I just hate every time I open that app. Twitter tears ago, too much toxicity. I mean, yeah, that's social media, pretty much. Just, but I recognize that that's like what streamers should have. But yeah, there's no. Uh, the, that's basically it in terms of announcing stuff. Because Twitch was messing with like a feed at some point, and that would have been useful, being able to announce stuff to your viewers. But no, they got rid of that. So the only options are just Twitter and Discord now. And even Discord's not the greatest because I have to like send the ping out, which I, I don't know. I don't feel good about that. It'll be like in the middle of the night for people. Is there still a schedule plan on the first? No. I mean, I can't. I figured a while ago that like doing a schedule. I think it's just it's a little too stressful, and it starts feeling like it's a job more than a hobby. So I aim for consistency and not like a, a fixed schedule. But if I don't plan on playing a game or streaming, then I'll usually give a heads up. I'll be like, hey, tomorrow I don't feel like doing it. I try to be consistent, but strict schedule, nah. I officially lost this, this statue. I have no idea where it went. Okay, let's say 
I came from here. I'm gonna walk back again. Am I really counting on just accidentally running into it again? Oh, man. I can't believe I could have clicked the thing. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna go do I'm I'm just gonna go do the stronghold. <laughs> I lost the statue. I'll look it up later. I'll look it up later where relatively I was on the map when I came across it. The problem is everything looks the damn same. It's just ice. Still being stubborn. I felt a bit old today as well because when we went to see the movie, we saw that um, potato chips were on the catalog special. So it was like they, they, they were the cheapest that I've seen them in about eight months. So. I got excited for a supermarket catalog. Which, yep, okay, I'm old now. That and, well, I guess the inner child aspect is I did grab like four bags of my favorite. So, large bags. So they're just sitting there now. It's still not as bad as the... I've st I talked about this moment before, but like... <laughs> so... I had- I had this thing, it went missing. It- it was used to... Open soft drink bottles, or just anything with like a lid on it easier. All it is, is it's just this sheet of... Um... I don't know what it is. It's like a latex, or... Maybe, like, a, a rubber? I don't know what it is. What it's made out of, but... The point is, it's just a, it's just a square. It's the size of your palm. You put it on top, and then it just makes things twist off so easily. Like, effortlessly. So I lost it, and I was sad that I lost it. And one day, I, I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna try and get another one. So I went on Amazon. And I typed the vague description of what this thing was. And I found it, but then, you know, the product description was something along the lines of, um, easy can open- can opening or jar opener. And I was like, yep, yeah, okay, that's what I want. But then, at the end of the product name, it said for seniors. And, yeah, my soul left my body a little bit. <laughs> All the products were marked for seniors. <laughs> Probably the, the first time I've ever felt like this really old. I was like, I don't, you don't have to be a senior to want convenience. Like, you ever had a, a bottle of something that just has just refuses to fucking open and it just hurts your hands to try and open it, and you have to like get your your t-shirt and put it over it and try to open it. It's, a, it's convenience. Like, why does that have to be specific to seniors? It's not a strength issue, it's just, like, it's discomfort. It 
Yeah, anyway. Ugh, old man moment. So sure that there'll be plenty more to come over the years. <laughs> Just, they had to tack, they could, couldn't they just have left the product as is? They had to tack on for seniors at the end of it. This isn't too bad. I thought I'd be struggling a bit more, but this is fine so far. My character seems to be capable. We'll see how it goes with the boss, because the boss is a nightmare. Grandpa always told you that age is just a feeling. That's true. I mean, my grandma, she's like turning 80 next year, but she's just like out and about just doing different stuff. Just about remaining active and I guess like taking interest in things still while you're old. It'll be interesting to see when, when I guess this current generation is older. It's like, People in their 70s, are they going to be streaming on Twitch? I mean, there already are, but, uh, like... Is there going to be a market for that one day? I don't know. I think I'll still be a, a, in an older age and I'll still play games, that's never going to change. Call this here. <laughs> Till the end, pretty much. I just got. I'm just, yeah. I think it was gonna happen regardless, but I think what makes me wanna do that more is just. I've had too many times in my life where I was put in a box just because I played games as, as an adult. It's more acceptable now, but like. You look back maybe 10, 15 years ago. It was just like, what? Why are you doing that? That's like the kids, isn't it? Like, no. There's a lot of studies that show that there are games. As long as the game is not passive, and it's something that makes you think, then it's good for you in the long run. I mean, this makes you think, like, yeah, okay. Hitting things with a stick, a gigantic stick, that might seem a bit passive, but the part that gets me thinking is, like, the build I want to do, and, you know, there's, there's numbers. <laughs> I have to do math if I want this to go really, really well. We all tend to think in categories. What do you mean? I think a lot of a lot of that mentality of just expecting people to behave in a certain way. Or not behave in a certain way is just it's just old boomer shit that just hasn't gone away. 
Oh, like as an like adult playing computer games. Yeah, I'd just say it's boomer stuff. You know, just expecting adults not to play video games. Um, just particular for people to act a particular way. You know, like oh, you're married, you should be acting this way. Oh, you're single, you should be acting this way. That's just, it's all bullshit. Yeah, honestly, it's the thing that I, I think annoys me the most is just when people are put in a box. It's easy to be condescending when one doesn't understand something. Yeah. Or doesn't make an attempt to try to understand something. It's just goes by a, well, this is what I've known. I don't know why it's this way, but I'm following it. I think the worst one that's still a thing right now is just people saying why the why would you watch people play video games? I've heard people say just horrible shit about people watching games on whether it's streaming or video, it doesn't matter. It's just okay, so those sports that you watch, uh when do you compete in them? Oh, what's that? You just sit in front of a TV? You don't actually go play on the team? No? Not even in a coaching capacity? No? Okay. Sorry, I, th I thought we could only take an interest in things that we have active involvement in. Ah, oh, shit. I'm frozen. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this thing keeps freezing me. Okay, ow. Dude, please. Release. I had... Oh, my God! Stop freezing! I don't know how I'd maintain... Dude! Oh, it's this isofix thing that's doing it. Okay, hang on. I'm still alive. Get it, get it, get it! Oh, that's not even the boss. Okay, I'm fine. Um, I believe that everyone should do what they want as long as it doesn't harm anyone else. Yeah. If it's, if it's something that doesn't harm anyone or it's not like illegal slash detrimental to society, then who the fuck cares? Leave people alone. Let people be happy. Honestly, life is too short to just put that sort of pressure or just making pe people feel shit. When it doesn't involve you in the slightest. Go live your life. Go live your own life. Focus on stuff that you can control. But, yeah, I mean, that's just not the way people think. It's Unfortunately, we're in the minority here. With that way of thinking.
You know many older ladies who enjoy planting things in their garden? Well, it might sound like a nightmare to you if it brings them joy, then it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I mean, my mom, even as, uh, like, in her 20s and 30s, she enjoyed planting stuff. Had a big garden. And I always saw it as just this tedious thing to me, for me. Like, something I would never be interested in. But I saw that, you know, would never be like, why do you have such a big garden or anything? I, I only have two potions. This is bad. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. The healing well is there. Alright, I need to make sure I do this correctly. I'm gonna wait for my Berserker cooldown. I hate this. Do you feel like it's fighting a war against nature that you could never win? For me, it just feels like I, I will probably not let the plant survive. There was one time my mom went away for a while and got me to look after some plants. And I did a good job, except for the cactus that died. And, you know, she she laughed, because she was like, Congratulations, you're less nurturing than desert. <laughs> oh, man. But some people see it as, like, the zen thing. I, I can see it. So the people I get along with the most are ones that are very, very nerdy about something. It doesn't have to be games. I mean, preferably games, but... Or, like... Maybe something like anime. Just... But, generally speaking, they're more understanding of, like, when I'm nerdy about something. But you know what? This is just going fine for now. It's still spawning ice even though it's stunned. That is disgustingly annoying. Oh, so much ice! Okay, okay, okay. Frozen, no! Uh, stop freezing! Oh my god. Okay, stun. Got him. You're dead. Ugh, man. Ooh, a ring. See? This is, this is the dopamine hit here. What did I get? Critical st uh, strikes. Uh, did I get another one of these? Does it stack? By 19%, this one is by 20%. So it's slice slightly worse, but I might hang on to it. I wonder if it stacks, like if... 
It'd be ridiculous if it's stacked. I don't think it does. Work can also have a meditative quality to it. If you enjoy the work you do, yes. I've been told by a few people that when I'm working on something, I have this look on my face, like... I'm... I don't know if it's like a super focused thing, but just like, just... No one's been able to describe it. I just say, like, I have this look on my face when I'm working on shit. Like, just enjoying myself or, I don't know, just into what I'm doing. What do you need? So I can understand that. Okay. Uh, okay, so now I can do the Hammer of the Champion. Let's go do Hammer of the Champion. Did I level up? Hold on. No. <laughs> I think... I think I like my maces. Weapon technique. Shit. Yeah, but that's in Act 2. That's in the next area. That's... I appreciate the fact that this this game, it wants you to be non-linear and go any way you want, but I'm not going to do that. Because it's not when it, not when it refers to the main quest as like Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, Act 4. I'm not going to go do Act 2 just so I can get my, my ability. It's just, it's blasphemy. If you see one, do not approach. Do not engage. Do not attack. Turn back and move as quietly as you can. Once noticed and hunted by these beasts, you are beyond saving. Let the corpses here speak for themselves. Light, go with you. I keep forgetting to get the stupid pancake mixed. <laughs> I, I went to the supermarket. I got excited. I got excited by the potato chips. Forgot to get the fucking pancake mix. I also died. Maybe it's intended to play them that way. I don't know, because there's cutscenes and it's telling a story. So it's kind of like in Tears of the Kingdom how you have the memories, like you can get the memories in any order you want. We get the the pancake party. Well, I just want to have it, so then it's an option. But I haven't planned anything. Egg! Fuck! What the fuck? What is... It's, the, it's this asshole. This asshole is the one doing it. This goat. I just want the option to be there, that's all. I mean, I had the dino nuggets, didn't I? Uh, when I say I'll try something, I'll do it. Okay, there we go. I bet people already have a map of this game, so I could probably look up where that altar was. But 
The only thing I, I just don't know what to do is like, if I make pancakes, what exactly am, am I going to be doing? Because I can't exactly play games. Pancakes is not one of those foods that I can eat and be playing something at the same time. So I kind of need to think about what I'm going to do. Need a pancake camera. Not feasible because I have very, very terrible lighting in here. And it would be nighttime for me because I'm certainly not doing this in the morning. Not waking up that early. And I'd have to buy a camera, so there's that too. I'm Batman, why? Because... Dark Room? Dark cave. It's not dark, it's just poor lighting. It's like a single down light and it just doesn't offer enough light. camera setup. I need it. A, a camera. <laughs> but also like one of those lights that you mount on the desk so then it provides extra lighting because otherwise it's, it just it will not look good. You wouldn't be able to see the anything. It'll look like uh like those those cameras from the early 2000s. This really terrible lighting. Key light from Al Qaeda. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what I can get to set it up. It's just, do I want to? It's not something I'd be using, really. Like, I'm not going to be using it when I'm playing games. I've said this before, it's just one, I like the notion of not having to look good on camera, if that makes sense. Like, I could be dressed in whatever's comfortable. I could have messed up hair if I wanted to. In summer, I could just not wear clothing if I didn't want to. And that's, that's an important one, because it gets fucking hot here. But also, I don't feel like it adds much to what I'm doing, really. My face reaction is, is not the key here. I think my, my voice reaction is better than my face reaction. I like the game being the primary content. That's just a personal preference. First pancake party and next cooking stream. I do not have a large enough kitchen to do that. It's like combined kitchen slash living room, so it's a logistics thing. Not that I wouldn't want to, it's just... In the space that I'm in right now, there's just very little options in what I can do. I have one kitchen top. <laughs> it's annoying. I have to move shit to like the 
the central table when I'm preparing stuff. Because there's just not enough room to do anything. I'm not ready. Tiny apartment. That's just what I'm trying to say. Tiny apartment. I'm, I'm lucky to have this room I'm in. Ah! Oh my god! Stop! That's so obnoxious. If, sometimes I feel like this game and its predecessors just basically say fuck you for picking a melee class. Okay, there we go. What is applying that weakened thing? I need to get rid of it. They all are, which they yeah, are good, good room. Hulks <laughs> smash. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. I'm not really That's the idea of this, dude. Oh, okay. Who keeps? Who is dropping that ice? You, go away. Outside grilling stream? I don't have a, an outside. <laughs> there is no outside. Let's go to a parks or something, but then it's different. Yeah, I, I referred to you to the tiny apartment comment. That is part of that. Just, I think, abandon the idea of IRL streams. Unless they're just hanging out on voice, that's uh, that's the best I can do currently. This, this cave just sucks. What is this? Channeling. All right, hammer, 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 smash. I hope there's a there's a cannot be frozen legendary in this game. I really do. some poisonous animals. What? <laughs> what would you imagine that would have- how? Like, what would- what would you imagine in that situation exactly? Like a camping trip?
Oh, this is flickering badly. I need to update my drivers. I'm being lazy. It's just restarting the computer. Ugh. Well, the, no, the, the, like the camping thing, fine. I'm not much of a camper, but I do enjoy trips. It's just... <laughs> oh, shit, no. Oh, no. I'm fucked. Oh, fuck. Okay, great. Random event. I'm screwed. I have not beaten this thing ever. Oh, this is just a joke. Hold that for fighting scary boss. Oh my god. I'm, I'm not gonna win here, like... The intention with this thing is to run, like... It's a random event that can happen. I don't know how, like, I guess... This is the part where, like, hmm, I need friends to play this with. <laughs> this is all this game is telling me right now. What are you doing, you loser? Playing this by yourself? Yeah, here, here, have, have a demonic butcher chase you. Oh my god. Okay. I've only gotten it a third of the way down. This is not gonna work. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so quick. No, I don't got this. This, this, this is one of these things that's intended to be stupidly hard. And just, okay, it's, he's gonna turn up every now and then and murder you. That's, ugh, that's the joke. <laughs> okay, well, it's not even part of the quest. It's just this thing that'll turn up to fuck you up every now and then. <laughs> uh, I'm just laughing. Yep. Okay, you know, I was I was hoping that maybe maybe sometime we could, I don't know, go go catch some poisonous animals together. <laughs> oh man. What do you mean, poisonous animals? Uh, yeah, I need to, I guess, remake these pants. What else have we got? Plus one to all defensive skills. Plus one to all defensive skills. Well, that's what we're gonna do. What counts as a defensive skill here? Let's see. Weapon mastery, brawling, defensive. I, I don't have any defensive skills. No challenging shout. Never mind. Got it. Then one. Okay. I guess that's fine. Documentary stream. You just want me to be Steve Irwin? 
I feel like this is where it's leading to. It's just... Didn't say that? Okay. No, me and the outdoors don't agree. I'd much rather stay indoors and like host a movie watching session or some something. Gee, this boss compared to that butcher thing. <laughs> that is, that is that is def definitely definitely something that is intended for multiplayer. Like I can't I can't see how I could do that early on on my own. Watch party. I've done that before. I've done it a few times. Last time I think was for the. 1990s Mario movie because they had uh, a special cut of it that had deleted scenes and oh man that was that was funny just terrible but it was funny just yeah. I've been watching One Piece, so I haven't really done anything. But what does this have? This has... Each point of fury generates three. Oh. Generates fortify. No, okay. I need to extract it first. Does return the gem. Cool. Okay. Uh, no, wait. Not that. Where are the pants? That. And then. That. I keep doing this. Let's see off. Yep. There we go. Uh. Sapphire. Do you hope so bad Zelda get a new anime? Wait, that was an old anime? There is a Zelda anime? What? Probably didn't air here. How old is it? What will it be? I'm just going to extract the aspect from this, I think. There we go. Okay, go here. I'll look this up. Celta anime, what is this? The Legend of Zelda, also known as Tale of the Reborn Hero in Asia. What? Hang on, there's a TV series in 1989. 
Which one is it? Okay, so there's like a 13 episode one that's from 2016, and then there's another one that's from 1989, which has... Oh, that one. That one just looks like a Saturday morning cartoon. I mean, I'm not surprised at the 1989 one. I'm not surprised at the 1989 one. That one doesn't surprise me. It's the other one that's, like, more recent. Huh. I wonder if there's a way to watch these online somehow. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so I'm going down this rabbit hole now. I bet some of those episodes are on YouTube. This one is on YouTube. Wait a minute, this shit's from the Super Show. Is this shit from the Super Show? Why have I never seen this? Okay. The Super Show was, was just, it was pretty good. You have done much to honor. I mean, they didn't show all the Super Show here, I guess. The Super Show that I saw probably just had the Mario segments. Because I watched them on VHS mainly. That's how I saw them. And so, I guess they just didn't have this on it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, who would want to watch the, all of that? I don't know. I feel like... That's just... Unless you've seen it already, I don't know if the nostalgia for that would be very high. Okay, uh, what am I doing? I guess now... Increase damage reduction while fortified by an additional 2%. While you have fortify for over 50% of your mech. I mean, a lot of these are just one point wonders for like, passives, and I think they're decent. Don't care about healing allies, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I mean, increased damage reduction while fortified. It's a good idea. I think I'll max these out. My favorite thing about the Super Show is like the, the one episode where it it sounds like Captain Lou says, fuck you, Luigi. <laughs> oh, that, that still makes me laugh. Love to see a new one in the same art style, like the cutscenes in Tears of the Kingdom. It would be cool. But I think, like, Nintendo's super protective of their, uh... Their stuff now, so I don't know if you would get that. I mean, maybe with the success of the Mario movie, they might change their mind and start doing more content. But that's probably the reason why we haven't seen cartoon shows based around Nintendo stuff in a while. And you have some spaghetti on your overalls. Oh, fuck you, Luigi! <laughs> that's not how it goes, but, you know. In my mind, that's how it goes. I, I'm pretty sure he says, Oh, well, thank you, Luigi. But just the audio makes it sound like, Oh, well, fuck you, Luigi.
I can't do a, a like a New York accent. I'm not even gonna try. I think after this I can I can move on to Act 2. It doesn't look like there's any other side quests. There might be one or two stray ones, but I think we're good. Level 36. <laughs> Going to Act 2. shows from just video games from the 1980s and early 1990s that they're, they're a trip to watch the Mega Man TV show was also like another one that was just insane they had another one for Mario it was like the Mario 3 show and I remember that, I, another one that I saw on VHS, didn't actually see it air, but... I, I just vaguely recall this episode where, like, Yoshi is calling Luigi Mama Luigi. It's just so weird. Oh, this thing is what's doing it, there we go. Mama Luigi. these bones do I have? Apparently 24, okay. Even Bob, Bobsy, that game, they made a cartoon show out of it. It was very, very short-lived and I saw it and just hated it. And all the weird Sonic the Hedgehog ones as well. Investigate the altar of immolation. Oh, nope, that, as advertised, on fire. No chance, yo. <laughs> we didn't even get halfway of the total enemies I needed to kill. You were scared of the Mega Man TV series at the beginning because of the intro, where it shows the skeleton without the cover. What? I I just I barely remember it. I just remember the song was just saying he was the fighting robot. Because of his skeleton without the cover. What the fuck? Okay, I'm looking this up. Mega Man. Oh god. 
It's just... The body proportions in this, oh my god. Oh, yeah, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah, no, that- that is- yeah, that is a- that is a little nightmare fuel, I- I will admit. Especially the teeth. It's, it's basically a skeleton. <laughs> I mean, what year was the show made? I feel like it, it was made well before I was born. Hang on, Mega Man. Oh, it's from 94. Maybe not. I thought it was older. I thought it was from the 80s, but it's from 94, so I guess not. I kind of associated it with the Super Show, because the Super Show is, like, late 80s. Okay, I was also very immature with a lot of those TV shows because they were produced by that, uh, the company was, it was Dick, D-I-C, but, you know, it just, all I just heard was, why are they saying Dick at the end of this TV show? I probably got all those TV shows, like, a couple of years after they were released. Just stuff took forever for it to get to Australia. Hey, Coloran, how's it going? What is going on? Why is this thing not taking damage? Hey! Going to a birthday party in a few minutes. Adult or kids one? Kids? Ah. Have fun! It's a roller skating party. Do you know how to roller skate? I only know how to do roller blades or the inline skates. I can't do like the four skate one. Ah. In the words of a 1990s cartoon show, it's like, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, as long as you have fun sucking. I could get the hang of roller skating. I, I know how to do inline skating, so can't be that different. But that being said, I don't think I would ever ice skate. I just have like this irrational fear. Like something bad's gonna happen. 
I mean, not just because it's on ice, but just because you're effectively... It's shoes with knives on the bottom. I don't know how I feel about that. The objective is travel to the flesh cavern. That sounds like fun. What the f- what? How Dude, how late is that right? That's shit. <laughs> I didn't realize how late it was. I looked at the time like, what the fuck? When did it become that time? Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. Guess I'm sleeping in tomorrow. I mean, you can see it in the top right corner. Yep, good shit. This is why I like playing this game, because I enjoy it and time passes that quickly. You can go to magical places like the Flesh Cavern. I keep saying that because I know it, it sounds horrible. Equipment is close to breaking. Okay. You know what? That might be why I'm experiencing problems. Let's quickly go repair. I don't mind durability when it's something you can repair. No, I may as well salvage what I'm... While I'm here, why not? Oh, man. Okay. Back to... <laughs> Back to the objective of traveling to the Flash Cavern. Hey, banana. Uh, it's going well. Just kicking back. Did not realize how late it was until like a minute ago. Oh, I guess this is it. I was already here, but you know what? It's probably best that I repair before the fight.
That's the fine. Poison's not causing me as many problems as it used to. Alright, see ya. Complete a dungeon within two- what? No, I did- I did not complete a dungeon within two minutes. <laughs> what? That was not too- I was- I was here for 20 minutes, what do you mean two minutes? Unless they mean the fight. Unless they mean the fight, maybe they mean the fight. There's no way I did a dungeon in two minutes, this was like... I don't know, maybe I, I found a bug or a technicality, but that was not- that was certainly not two minutes. I alt-tabbed and was looking at footage from the Mega Man TV show, which by the way is, is like nightmare fuel. <laughs> okay, well. I mean, fine, I got the achievement, I'm happy. Okay. What else have we got? Um, find Kola, the collector. Gotta assassinate. Okay. It's locked. Yeah, don't have enough of that. Looking... Oh, there's, there's an area. There you are. Ow! Okay, well. Try again. There's too much other stuff that followed me up here. Just gotta avoid the cleaver. Damn archers, man. Okay, I got it, 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 I got it. Nuggy time. <laughs> Enjoy the nuggy time, Messiah. It's making me hungry now. Especially since McDonald's have got their spicy nuggets now. Again. I mean, I could get some if I wanted, but I think I should behave and not. Let's enjoy. Yeah, honestly, I didn't realize how late it was. Time escape again. Okay, uh, we are going back to here. I'll piss off. Where are these coming from? I, I got rid of all of them. I just want to teleport out. Leave me alone. Yeah. They just keep coming. <laughs> okay. 
There we go. <laughs> well done. You shall have the honor of mounting the head. Let both friend and foe know that you have brought down the beast. Okay. Got another quest to turn in over here. Splintered and broken as they should be. This will be a most worthy offering. I mean, damn, it's almost caused me to level up, so that's good. The chieftain of the bear tribe has taken note of you, warrior. Speak with him. Okay. Another quest. I, I waited for one such as you. A proven warrior who knows honor and glory. You may not be of the tribe, but your deeds make you kin nonetheless. Far has the call of the ancients brought me. Even now, I can hear their words, offering redemption for our failures at Mount Ariat so long ago. Be my champion. Accompany me into the glacier. Help me gain the wisdom of the ancients and give purpose to my broken people. Okay. Well, I got the feeling it's gonna be annoying. All right, let's go. <sighs> Be on guard. This glacier has claimed many of my bravest warriors. Explore. All right, so there's no objective yet. This is helping. Some of the NPCs that follow you just don't do anything. Wait, as it sounds like fighting news, you keep getting notifications about iPhones. What do you mean notifications? Do you mean ads or notifications? He's got the frozen ability. I need to get rid of this frozen shit. Shaman, over there. Has to go first. Okay, now we're good. Even in this game, Ice is just giving me <laughs> just a horrible time. I just don't like Ice.
strong here. Is that another key or is that? We must find a way through. I guess we'll see. I sure like this format a lot. There's a door in the middle. Go to the left or go to the right to get the key. The key's gonna be a sphere or it's going to be a square. Hopefully in the later acts, the variety will, will change. Since I was a kid, I just I've always hated ice and water stages. They're effectively the same thing. Get this thing first. Okay. Increase the damage while you're fortified. Gain, yeah, I'm increasing that now. These, this cluster here seems good. Here we go. Right, fleshless? I would call this skinless. <laughs> Maybe it means the same thing. I don't know, oh, shit. I pressed heal but nothing happened. What happened? Did it lag? It may have lagged. It's okay. Yeah, it's the bloodstone thing. I'm going to be a little disappointed if, like, this is 70% of the... the quests. Because this format, man...
Diablo is seventy dollars. What I say it's worth the price. Depends on your perspective. I mean, what might be worth it to me might not be worth it to you. So it's just at the end of the day, if you enjoy the series and you have fun with the series, that's your your worth of it, pretty much. But if you don't, then you might not think it's as worth it. I never tend to bring up the price when it comes to discussing games. Just whether or not I personally enjoy them or not. If you're already thinking about price, that probably means you're not either not familiar with the series or just already, like, iffy about it. Because, like, if you're thinking $70, you're trying to break that up somehow. Like, oh, how much playtime am I going to get out of it? Or how many hours is it? I don't know. Now you are mine, just as those who have come before you. It's worth it for me because I enjoy the series and I'll get my monies out of it. Whatever that means. <laughs> Someone that, say, doesn't like action RPGs or doesn't play them as often probably wouldn't be worth it for them. And it's not a reflection on the game by any means. I can tell you if it's fun. The game's fun. I, I enjoy it. But whether it's worth it, I guess it's up to you. Oh, these skulls are brutal. Circumvent it should be okay. Oh my god, these skulls. Trust. Yep. Got it. Ugh. Uh, is that it? Are you. He's, okay, hang on. Rabbit, once a shaman of the bear tribe, searching for a way to make amends for the past, imprisoned by those I sought aid from. You have succeeded where Play I Play RPGs failed. almost every day. Our okay. Sisters be praised. Ah, I mean, of the bear tribe, this you game has really nice visuals and good cutscenes, so I think the story is Tell good. Me. What of our people? I do have critique of it, because right now, some of these side quests, they, have loss. they seem to follow a very similar they format, which, us, you know, there are RPGs that have that. You it's not necessarily horrible, it's just I'm hoping when we get to the later acts, it'll uh, start making them a bit more diverse. Find a new destiny. Dwell on the past. No more. Rest well, Kravit, shaman of the Bear Tribe. Okay. Oh, that's it. I guess there's not going to be anything else to do here. Alright, uh, leave dungeon. How are we looking here? Apparently there's one more stronghold somewhere.
Um, the Darkened Way, I guess, is the main quest. Let's go do that. We might run into other side quests. I mean, there is incentive to 100% it because it, it, it becomes uh, skill points and whatnot. Into the binary of Isaac really fast. I got 200 hours. This game is done. Barely made any progress. Yeah, Isaac is a is a rabbit hole. That's one of those games that I've got a ridiculous amount of playtime in that one. I haven't even finished it yet. I need to I need to get back to like progressing through it. I just needed a break from it because I'm up to the really hard content now. And I was getting my ass kicked for a while, but then some other games came out and. I wanted to, uh, play them. Plus, the VODs are still pu publishing on YouTube, so... I think once it's closer to catching up, then I'll get back into it. But I mean, all the Diablo games so far, with the exception of the original, and I played Diablo 2 as a remaster, but still, I've sunk, like, easily a thousand hours in each. So, we'll see how this one goes. So far, I'm enjoying it. Man, I'm just not gonna. I should just. I should just look it up on the map. Ah, oh, I found a, a little statue, but I don't know where it is because I couldn't pick it up before I died. It's okay. I haven't seen many events today. Maybe I just haven't been near them, but okay, let's do this. I should be doing these anyway. It is... Say the channel is to disrupt. Okay. I think I need a new weapon. I feel like it's been a while since I've had an upgrade to a weapon. Maybe I can go gamble one. So it feels like I'm not doing enough damage quick enough. I think the survivability I've, I've got down. I got herbals, so maybe I can get something with the herbals. Why isn't anyone around to help?
Watch someone turn up like right before I kill it. Someone just turns up for the reward. Ugh, extra health. I can't believe they've ever added this modifier back in. They, it used to be in Diablo 3, but then they got rid of it. Because it was annoying. And now they're like, no, you know what? That's... I mean, maybe they've done that in a smart way this time, but it was... It's just something that you used to just ignore enemies that had that affix. Okay, I'm gonna go back and see if I can gamble myself a new weapon. It's a different team, granted, that made this game, so... I would describe this as a better version of Diablo 3. MMO aspects. It's not super heavy on it. Okay. Uh, we want a two handed hammer mace. It seems your prayers have been answered. So, okay. Enemies damaged by kick or charge will explode if they're... Wow. That sounds like a cool ability, but unfortunately, it's not what I'm after. I'm gonna get another one. Bit of magic in that one. Oh, and I want sword, not hammer. Hammer. There we go. That's good, that's good. Okay. Um, now I'll go mace. Hmm, not much, is it? Mace. I can't afford that. Okay, that's fine. I'll keep that as an aspect. I mean, each of them are different, so, like... Diablo 2 is the golden child. If you talk about most Diablo fans, they'll have the highest regards for Diablo 2. Diablo 3 was a bit more split and played more like an arcade game, and... People were a bit divisive about it. And so this is... It's still in the spirit of Diablo 3. It doesn't play like Diablo 2. But it has, it's brought back certain familiarities from 2. But it's, it's, at its core, it's Diablo, it's just a better Diablo 3, I think. But, uh, yeah. They're both fun. Okay, um, let's get, because I'm not using kick or charge skills, but I'll take the aspect. It could, could be useful if I change my mind. Um... Alright, All right. so now let's... Let's do this. Hang on. We're swapping weapons now. So now what we're doing... Um, we're taking... Oh! Right. Because it's already imprinted. So I have to find this again to be able to use it. I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world now, I guess. Okay, so you can only transfer it to an item once, but that's fine. I carry the best shards of the heavens. It's just this weapon's starting to get a little weak, so... It's gonna happen. Okay. This, this actually seems insane. 27% overpower. 19% damage to stun enemies. This looks like a good weapon. Um, other than that, I mean, yeah. 
All right. The whole thing about this genre of game is, is ultimately the loot. <laughs> it's just collecting items and designing a build and then going for it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to use this anymore, so let's just do that. You can take what's left. Okay, you know what I'm also going to do? Let's repair, but then I should upgrade this thing so get a little more bang for our buck out of it. I feel like I should be doing this more. For now, that should do. Sad to lose that passive. It's all right, I just have to get it again. To be honest, I think it's going to be roughly equal now. The damage difference is probably going to equate to what I would have gotten as the bonus. I might increase taunts power. I haven't really leveled up the skill itself. I've just been getting supporting passives that have made me tanky, but now I think I need a Oh, it's Nairel again. I don't think I've done this quest, so this might be new to me. Go to the Black Lake with Norel. Oh no. Yeah, I have done this. I mean, not now, I've done this when I played this last year. Again. 
but I'll play it out again. This is very morbid. The breeze coming from the Black Lake. Do you feel it? Let's hurry. Okay. From my own mistakes. This body yeah, is the only shit husk. Here. My spirit must pass on. Heading up and on. Alright, no and worries. Thanks for popping in. Go. See you later. Mother, no. I need you. You need to move on, Magpie, without me. But I can help you one last time before I go. At least she's not trying you. to stab this time. Have the divine blessing. Your blood is the necessary key. Oh. Nope, never mind. Guess we're still on the blood thing, huh? I'm afraid she's won this one. Besides, I have to take care of my mother. But it's not over yet. Not for you. Lilith was after Rosma. Find him. Learn why. I'll be back at the vault. All right. Oh. I feel a cold wind flowing through my bones. I just decided to jump ahead, alright? Yeah, this area looks cool. You are the last visitor to my sanctum. Though you come too late, just as Lilith did before you. For it was my father, Inarius, who arrived here. You went you went on talking, huh? It unfolded as my visions foretold. How we hurtled towards the prophecy's end. He's done? Okay, he's done. <laughs> There's just so much of a gap. wasn't sure. It started in dreams. 
Ugh, the background. To destroy the tumors to go any further. It's not a tumor. Alright, yes it is. <laughs> Ugh, <laughs> Destroy all of them, or is this just like a destroy one and maybe you'll find the right path forward? I can't remember. Stab me, that's what happened. Yeah, extra health. an elixir. I didn't know those dropped. Okay. Wow. gonna end up finding all of them. Yeah, you do need to find all of them. I must wait. Wait, what? Oh no, I gotta go around. I thought it was a climb, it's not a climb.
Ice again. <laughs> I have to get rid of this ice right now. getting rid of that anytime soon. Yeah, so Lilith is going to be pissed, basically. That's what this is alluding to. like a one-way thing. I wish that, uh, there was less of a gap between that. Curse this place. I'm being followed. Am I? Okay. Looks cool. Sound effects, but I just thought that was just creepy ambience. Oh, 
Oh shit. Right. Good, good, good. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for that thing again before I use Rapid with the zip health because it's gonna happen in a minute. It's going to happen a second time and then it's gonna waste. There it is. Yep. As much. All right. Now. Oh yeah, no, I love how those waves <laughs> just automatic. I mean, I guess the stun does prevent some attacks, it's not all. Okay, again. Each point of fury, while generated at a maximum fury, grants sword of fire. When hit while not healthy, a magical bubble is summoned around you. While not, when hit when not healthy, while standing in the bubble, players are immune. Can only happen once per ninety seconds. Interesting. We're giving him a hug. Vigo, who did this? I have done all that was asked. The pain is gone now. This was a just punishment. A stronger man would have refused Venard's bribe. Nerel. Nerel, is she safe? Yes, she is safe. Damn. Our meeting is no coincidence. I came here to help. William, give this to her for me. I should never have taken it. He's so dark, I have repented. Do you think I was too late? No, not too late. The light has come to carry you home. Do you not see it, friend? Yes, yes, I see it now. They have come. Oh. You didn't need that armor to prove your worth. Right? Legendary. When hit on the... <laughs> ah. 
It's the same as the fucking pants. But plus rank of all weapon mastery skills. I'll take that. So the the pants are not useful now. <laughs> Class, I got the same effects. It's okay. Give me the key to hell. I will not ask again. You don't need to. I saw a vision of the key lifted from my corpse. Under the watchful eyes of the great serpent in my sanctum. If you are chosen as you say, it will come to pass. Good on. Is that him? Is that Rathma? Ooh. It's a neat painting. Yeah. I mean, he got incinerated, so... Cool cutscene time. She's pissed. Oh, but she knows where the key is. This key unlocks more than the doors of hell. It unlocks our path to the future. A future made possible because of the price you paid. Your sacrifice will not have been in vain. Yeah, those transitions are cool. That's it, right? Okay. Leave dungeon is not available, why not? It's expecting me here, let's see. Speak with me, Rel. The Heradric Vault. Alright, I need to go back. Please tell me they have like a fast travel here, or do I really have to walk all this back? Hang on, let's just have a look. Uh, I mean, I think I have to walk all the way back. Maybe we'll see more shit on the way back.
This is a weird choice having to walk back like this. I did try exit dungeon, it didn't work. And it wants me to go to the black lake again, so it's just... I don't know if this is quicker. Oh, man. This area is pretty cool looking, though. Just have to go back. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Where is she? Okay, she's over here. I wonder what else we have to do for this. the bubble that I'm seeing from the amulet. I guess it's not bad. Just the 90 second cooldown, it's not the greatest, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. took a key to hell off Rothma's body. <laughs> then it was all in vain. She's the only one who got what they wanted. Nairal. She came seeking the Haradrim of legend. Seeking hope. She found neither. But her part in things was far from over. In truth, we would need her more than she needed us. Didn't seem that way at the time, though. For anyone. Inarius proved to be just as unreliable as I'd feared. His self-obsession had driven him to murder his son, Rathma. And from the corpse left behind, Lilith had taken a key to hell. Where would she use it? We could only depend on ourselves to find out. Uh, where 
requires it. That's what we want. So this increases the damage reduction by 4%. So overall, yeah, I think this is worth leveling up. Okay. That's it. We're up to Act 2. Alright. Awesome. I mean, there's still s stuff to be done, clearly. Because I do want 100% the area to get the, uh... The thing. The attribute point. Alright, this is a good stopping point chat. It is light here, as you can see in the top right. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed now, but I got this up to a point now where I can go chase this thing. So I guess I'll be heading in that direction. Um, I'll do a bit of this tomorrow, but I will play more Zelda, so I want to progress in both of these games. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking to the end, and consider clicking buttons for algorithm purposes. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll play more games, so take care, enjoy the rest of your day, I'll see you next time, chat.